Hello, Internet! So nice to see you! Today we talk about the theory of Japanese scales. And before I start, a couple of disclaimers. First, I'm gonna focus on the practical bits of the Japanese scales for Western musicians. So I will sacrifice any kind of correctness in ethnomusicology at any step of the way in this video for the sake of clarity. My second disclaimer is that, as you know, I am an Italian native speaker living in Canada. My pronunciation of Japanese name is probably completely laughable. So don't be too hard on me here and let's have fun together. Now, this theory of Japanese scales is due, to the best of my knowledge, to the theorist Fumio Koizumi, who wrote about it in the 70s. To understand what Koizumi is after, we first need to understand a little bit of Western musical theory, and specifically we need to talk about tetrachords. Tetrachords are not chords, despite the name. Tetrachords are simply fragments of scale four notes long, like C, D, E, F, or G, A, B, C. Those are two tetrachords. The theory of tetrachords is an explanation on how to construct a traditional scale, and here we define traditional scale as the scale mostly used before the 20th century. The construction of the scale goes this way. First, you start from the root, and in this case we're going to use C, and you're going to mark the fifth G and the fourth F. Now, between C and F, you put in a tetrachord, and between G and C, you put in another tetrachord. Now, any four notes will work there. So C, D, E, F, it's a perfectly good tetrachord there, but also C, D, E flat, F, it's a perfectly good tetrachord, and also C, D flat, E flat, F works perfectly. The tetrachord between the first and the fourth is sometimes called the inferior tetrachord, the one between the fifth and the root is called the superior tetrachord, and the inferior and superior tetrachord may be the same or not. So, for instance, in the major scale, the two tetrachords are the same, because the interval are a whole step, a whole step, and then a half step in the first tetrachord, and a whole step, a whole step, and a half step in the second tetrachord. But in other scales, like the natural minor scale, the two tetrachords are not the same, and in fact, in the natural minor scale, the interval are whole, half, whole for the inferior tetrachord, and half, whole, whole for the superior tetrachord. So despite the complex name of tetrachords, the theory is actually really simple. It's just saying that any kind of traditional scales will have a root, a fourth, and a fifth, and you can pick the other note however you want. So this is just a way to see scale, and it was used also as a mnemonic device to remember what kind of intervals there were in every scale. Incidentally, it's really interesting to notice that if you take the inferior tetrachord of the natural minor scale and you use it twice, you obtain the Dorian scale, and if you take the superior tetrachord of the natural minor scale and use it twice, you obtain the Phrygian scale. But let's go back to the Japanese scale. Koizumi noticed that in Japanese scales, you always have the tonic, the fourth, and the fifth, like in traditional Western scales. The difference was that the Japanese scales are mostly pentatonic, that is, they are made of five notes. So what Koizumi did here is simply invented the Japanese version of the tetrachord, which, like the Western version, is made by two notes, a perfect fourth apart, like C and F, but now there is only one other note in between, for a total of three notes, so we cannot call it a tetrachord anymore. Koizumi did not call it a tricord, as far as I know, but that could probably be a good name. Then Koizumi proceeded to define four main scales, which are the scales you obtain if you use the same tricord twice in the same scale. So let's hear them. The first scale is called the Ryukyu scale. It's the one you obtain if in your tricord the middle note is a major third above the lowest note. So in this case, the scale is C, E, F, G, B, C. Here I'll play it over a C drone. By the way, I have no pretense of playing this scale the exact way a traditional Japanese musician would. This probably takes a lifetime of study to understand. I am just interested in this scale as a collection of pitches and how it will sound to my Western ears. The second scale is the Min-Yo scale, which is the scale you obtain when the middle note of your tricord is a minor third above the lowest note. So in this case, it's C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C. And guess what? You know this scale already because it's just the minor pentatonic. Mm -hmm. 
The third scale is the one you obtain when the middle note of your trichord is a whole step above the lowest note. This scale is called the Ritz scale, and it sounds again similar to a minor pentatonic because it is, but it's not the C minor pentatonic, it's the D minor pentatonic, or if you want, it's a mode of the D minor pentatonic, so it sounds interesting over a drone of C. <laughs> And finally, we get to my favorite scale of the bunch, called the Miyako Bushi scale, which is the one you obtain when the middle note in your trichord is just a half step above the lowest note. Some of you know this scale with the name Hirajoshi. Now, as far as I know, Hirajoshi is the name of a tuning, not the name of a scale, and this scale is called Miyako Bushi, but honestly, the sources on these are very few and far in between, and I could be completely wrong in my naming here. If you know better, please write it in the comment. If you really know and have sources on these, if you have original sources on these, I want to know. Anyway, our scale is C, D flat, F, G, A flat, C, and here is how it sounds. Now, don't forget that those four are just the main scales that you obtain when the two trichords are exactly the same, but you can, of course, mix and match and take one trichord from one scale and another trichord from another scale. You have a lot of possibilities here, and they will sound great. So, for instance, here what's happening, if I'm taking the inferior trichord from the Ryukyu scale and the superior trichord from the Miyako Bushi scale, I will have C, E, F, G, A flat, C. I will let you have fun trying all the other combinations, and if you find something you really like, write it in the comment and share it with us. Of course, there is much more to say on the topic of scales, and if you want to know a lot more about scales and modes, I suggest you give a look at my course Master of the Modes. It's a complete video course on scales and mode on guitar, when we work on full diatonic scales, mode, pentatonic scale, arpeggios, and how to use them to improvise over any kind of chord progression. If you like this video, smash on that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and please share this video with all your friends, let them know. I really appreciate everybody's support of this channel, it means a lot to me. And if you have any questions, write them down in the comment, and I will do videos about those. This is Tommaso Zillia, and until next time, enjoy!